I was happy to give Dong Wei a hand to coach the Earth team for a while. There are things, however, that even the best coach can't foresee. Stop hurting yourself. This is not what your mother would have wanted. Turns out, Molly is Don Wei's daughter, Eva, though she's keeping it a secret. I hope you find the strength to face your inner demons, little mouse. The great race may prove a greater challenge than any of us ever imagined. the whizzing arrow you're building a new one we designed these upgrades when we were still working at miguel's and then we forgot about it if we had known about these scrubs mechanics we would have done it right away you had better be right our last chance to qualify for oban starts in just a few hours huh? <laughs> hey stan uh... did you remember to check the internal cooling system <clears throat> yeah? Hello there. Quite a party you're having. You have something to tell me? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Silly me. The judges have finished drawing lots for the final race. Drawing lots? The six teams in the playoffs have already faced each other once. For the sixth race, the opponents are picked at random. I see. It's all in that document. The names of the opponents, the rules in case of a tie, the departure tables for Oban, or in case of a defeat, the return trip to your home planet. Isn't she beautiful? Stronger, faster, safer. The Whizzing Arrow 3. Brand new ship for a brand new champion. Thanks a lot, guys. It's wonderful work. We couldn't have done it without you. Well, sir, what's the verdict? Yeah, looks great. I have the name of our next adversary. We're up against Colonel Toros. But he's never lost a race. 
ever. And he nearly crushed us to a pancake last time. This team has improved tremendously since we lost to Tauros. Fill the tanks and run the final checks right now. We'll be called at any moment now. Yes, sir. We're on it. Uh, after you, partner. Remember, to rank among the top three teams and qualify for Oban, we must beat Tauros at all costs. Tauros or no Tauros, no one stands between the ultimate prize and me. Not even a Krog. The final round? Oh. Oh. Mr. Rush, you must rest. Oh. Oh. I suppose you're right. But I just wanted to cheer on the kids. We now call forth the Earth Team! How does she feel? The steering feels a bit stiff, but I'll get used to it. Challenged by Tauros, Colonel of the Krag Imperium! What's wrong? It's a new star racer. Just let me get the hang of it. <laughs> Come on, Eva. This is it. I must do it. I have no choice. That's my girl. Let's see what she's got. Out of my way, Croc! Give it to him, Jordan! He deserves it! Okay, I'm having a bit of deja vu back here. We need some speed, Molly! This has gone on long enough. And Tauros, you can't trick me twice. Stan, the hyperdrive, is it fixed? Roger that. Same commands as before. <laughs> How can we achieve such speed? Uh, it was easy, really. We mounted the turbines in clusters. That was my idea. It nearly doubles their capacity. Fuel level? 
you're still okay for a bit longer. We've also increased the tank capacity. How in the world did that happen? Koji, can we make this baby go faster? Uh, well, yes or no? Stan, what about the... Totally out of the question. The arrow's hull could break apart under the thrust. had a chance to test it. It's just not safe yet. Stan, please do it. We have no other choice. But Don... I assume full responsibility. We do this on a protest. Booster drives enabled. against the temple walls. You must stop now, Molly! I am not stopping. I know Maya wouldn't have. Foolish human, you'll destroy us both. Molly, it's Rick. Stop the booster drives. It's too risky. could have pulled that stunt. The winner is the Earth Team! <laughs> we made it! I mean, they made it! Hmm. <sighs> Toros has five victories and is therefore qualified for Oban!
The Earth team has three victories and must therefore wait for the results of the competition between Prince Ica and Spirit. But the humans just beat the best racer. Surely they must qualify for Oman. If Prince Ica wins, the Earth team will qualify for the finals. A victory for Spirit would create a tie in his favor and disqualify the Earth team from Oban. You've got to be kidding me! Spirit has beaten us before. In the event of a tie, Spirit would have the advantage over us. He would be the winner. It's all clearly spelled out in these rules. We have to accept it. You know that Ica will lose this race on purpose so the Krogs can win. Anyway, everybody knows the Norasians are in the Krogs' pocket. Please don't start with that again, Jordan. Believe whatever you want. But I saw them together. We now call forth Ica, Prince of Norasia! <laughs> Molly, please don't look at me this way. It only makes it harder. Challenged by Spirit, Ambassador of the Fills! I hope you've made things clear to your young master. Absolutely clear. The Prince will do as you have requested. I am pleased to hear this. Earth must be taught a lesson. Will you look at that? The Honest Prince is not even pretending to race. It's impossible. Norasian Knights have honor. He won't let me down. Gadar, calm down. This is not our day for victory. <sighs> I feel the same way. We are betraying our friends and ourselves. This cannot continue. Usakai, Dadar Waka. Huh? What is this treachery? I... I don't know. You fight well, Spirit, but today I must win. Usakai Norama Safa! Three teams selected for the Grand Finals on Oban are... The Krogs with five victories, the Norasians with four victories, and the Earth Team with three victories. Huh? Mm. Failing the Krogs was a most deadly mistake. This day will not be forgotten. Colonel, wait! You know, this guy's okay. And who knows, I may even start to hate him less. Yeah! <laughs> Rick, I haven't felt this good in years since you won your first Earth Grand Prix. You remember? Yeah. You can be proud of yourself, Rick. You certainly changed that girl. I couldn't have done it. Yeah, I think he walked out about a half an hour ago. He had his backpack with him. Oh. Thanks. Rick! Rick, where are you? Great! 
Wilt race. You've changed so much, Molly. I can hardly recognize you. I'm looking for Rick. Have you seen him? Rick? Well, yes, I have. He's heading back to Earth. To Earth? He's right over there. Uh, Rick! Uh, these humans really are fascinating creatures. <laughs> Rick, wait! Rick, what are you doing? We're on our way to Oban. You can't leave now. I've taught you everything I know, little mouse. Racing's over for me. But I... Ship's ready for takeoff. It's time for me to think about my new life. You'll do just fine. Rick!